One attack style that's quite different to the other DOS attacks we've seen so far in this course is when we have a permanent DOS attack. And you'll see permanent DOS attacks often referred to as a PDOS attack. And this is when the attacker is trying to actually make the device unusable. And usually that's done by replacing the firmware with a malicious variant. Now often this is called flashing with a PH. And it's a small deviation on flashing spelt in the normal English way, which would be the method by which we update firmware on a device. We would normally flash a device with legitimate firmware. When we talk particularly about PDOS though, we also often refer to this as bricking the device. And this can happen to devices such as smartphones and routers and other pieces of physical equipment which run firmware on them. The trick for the attacker with a permanent DOS attack is to exploit a weakness in that target device which allows them to load the malicious software. Now that may be a drive-by download, something that's downloaded as someone browses to a web page. It may be a malicious update, they coerce someone into downloading. Either way, when the device is updated, it becomes unusable. It's a very malicious attack and when a device is genuinely bricked, it may well be permanent, it may not be recoverable. If the firmware is designed such that legitimate firmware can no longer be loaded over it, that could well be the end of the device. So that's just a very quick look at what is meant by permanent DOS and the term flashing. And that's the last specific attack style I want to show you in this module. But I do want to finish with a couple of really good examples of DOS attacks in action. And the first one I want to show you is GitHub's man on the side attack.